Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader and in this video we'll be taking a look at Tesla stock and we'll be doing some technical analysis, uh, looking at some of the key levels of supports and resistance, looking at the price action, the candlesticks, what they're telling us and all in all we'll be identifying what possibly we may foresee stock price to behave in what fashion and we'll try to, you know, put in as much as market sentiment as well in our analysis as possibly we can because news on the stock and the stock price in itself are two different things but then also price action taking the precedence does react to the news based on what's happening in the market. So there are multiple factors but please remember technical analysis and price action always plays a very important role and that's why we do that technical analysis as well because you would have noticed so many times we would have great news but the stock will keep falling and sometimes we'll have worst news the stock price will keep going up right and that's why technical analysis is very important also uh, please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes with that also hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos and with that let's begin so before even jumping into technical analysis i do want to mention that kathy woods has been selling tesla stock um she has sold 130,000 shares on friday as well and after selling 139,000 shares on thursday so this was um sh i mean you know because she wanted well all right this is how it's being read as um to rebalance her portfolio because on her um the the arc invest email newsletter it says that they have bought in coinbase and block because they, they have plummeted recently due to well on block it's because of hindenburg research you know um negative news and then so kathy wood's firm is buying those now that's fine but also we have to remember just speaking of tesla stock kathy woods have had in numerous even the news media reports that she would come on television she would tell that hey don't trade tesla stock just buy and hold it right um, and she has ridiculous price targets of $1,500 or whatnot. Uh, and, you know, um, this doesn't sound well if you tell in one of your, you know, interviews that just don't trade it, but just buy and hold for long, but then you are selling, right? So it doesn't quite match in with, you know, what you tell, you know, the, your viewers and then, you know, what you do behind. Uh, but also, I'm, I'm not projecting it in a way that um, she's hiding something. Well, she, they are one of the most transparent fund um, invest management company where they actually show what they're doing with the um, with their portfolio and their positioning. Tesla is they're still the most um, you know held position in in their portfolio at still sitting at ten percent. So, you know, it's, um, again, like, it does create the pressure of sell-off and maybe how the news is taken. Uh, but then also, it's also rebalancing. But just, uh, so what I really just want to, you know, I don't want these people to be talking in the media that, and telling the viewers, oh, don't trade it, just buy and hold. And that way, you are setting up expectations and then you are doing such actions, which some people would take it as if, you know, oh my God, you know, they are selling it, they are seeing something that we are not. So it's all about perception. We just never know, right? People, you can't really judge people's actions just by their words, right? So it's very important to do your own due diligence. That's what my point is. And uh, make sure that you have all the fundamentals right you are if you want to i i am more like i use you know stock market as trading platform right it's also my investment tool but that's a different type of uh, stocks i invest in my trading stocks are different my investment stocks are completely different um so tesla is one of my trading stocks and so is nvidia um and all that being said now and 
put aside. Let's talk about Tesla technical analysis now. So very first thing for the new viewers, I want to mention that the red line that you are seeing on my chart, let me point that out. Is the 200 days moving average purple is 50 days moving average and this yellow moving line is 20 days moving average the yellow horizontal lines and the purple horizontal lines are the support and resistance key levels now if you have been following my channel you would notice that i have mentioned that the test of 188 285 dollars is going to act as a support for the time being and which it is acting and then 20 days moving average this yellow line is also acting as a support so however at the same time the price action is telling us that yes they are acting as support however stock is failing to show momentum to the upside so and that's why i really like reading these candles because they tell everything about the sentiment of the investors and the traders right so what we are seeing that yeah stock price used this support here 188 dollars and 20 days moving average tried to break it uh, but bought back up and almost just around 186 dollars but bought back up right because of again this is as a support however however if you notice that the body and the candle barely went over or even get inside the previous days you know body even if it was red but that clearly shows that the buyers are just not in that area right right now there's no pressure coming in to buy so Support level is being tested, but looks like it's gonna break, right? However, remember this 50 days moving average as well. And that's why here is the area where I really don't enjoy trading either on the short or the long side because on the swing, these 200 days moving averages above, 20 and 50 days moving averages are below, while stock is looking weak. So there is support, there's resistance very close by, and it's gonna be like sandwich, right? Unless it breaks through either side. And that's what I am really waiting for. It's like I have to break on either side so that I, I get some direction on it, right? Uh, but again, we will be looking at the price section as well according to that. Now, what think seeing of that, I do feel that stock is looking to break under $188 um, support level. So also remember, I have highly mentioned also that 185 is a strong support level, but its uh, prominence is decreasing because the stock is already testing 188 dollars over and over again and it's weakening it's failing to go over right so 188 dollars becomes new prominent support level while 185 might give a little bit support but looks like how it's forming as i'm telling you that is failing to show momentum 185 dollars can easily break as well now so I think it will get clear if I show you the candle not the candle sorry the line chart so you can see how stock is on tried to go up the bounce from 50 days moving average but then now failing again just like how it started happening here right tried to go up to test 20 days moving average failed and then went you know crashing down now let's jump back to our candle chart and let's jump back to the hour chart now I want to talk few things in there as well so you can again like let's jump to the line chart as well on hourly chart you can see how well that it's slowing down right and then it's the bounce is not that strong anymore and let's jump back to candle chart again and you can see on the hourly chart stock tried to go up right it went up it's falling back down broke the 20 sorry the 20 days moving average on hourly so not the 20 days moving average, but 20 moving average on hourly, right? So 20 hours moving average it becomes, right? So this looks like a dead cat bounce. I feel like on hourly chart, stock price might again test a little bit of $190, but I think it will reject here now. And eventually I feel like $185 level might break because it's looking weak to me right now, guys. And $176 might again be tested and highly possible $166 is also tested again. And remember, we have to see the price action very dearly and closely at $166 level as well because if by any chance it acts as a double bottom with this area, this could be another potential place for Tesla to again go up 
provided it want to go up. So we have to see price action at that time. But right now, to me, Tesla is looking weak. Um, yeah, unless it gets over right now, let me see. Yeah, if it doesn't get over $190 on Monday, it's very likely it's going to break 185 to the downside in coming days and weeks. But if, I, if it gets over $190, $200 might still be again tested. But if it can break $200 again and it rejects, uh, then yeah, it's going down from there, at least $266 level. Just my opinion, no financial advice. All right. Now, um, what else is here? I think let's jump back to, a, let's see the weekly chart. Let's see what it's telling us. Mm, yeah, okay, let me let me clear out the drawing here and that's fine. You know, I'll, I always like drawing, doing drawings fresh with you guys so that you can see my thinking process as well, right? Now on the weekly chart, yeah, look at it. This last week candle also is showing sell off around the, this area where we had the previous supply zone, right? And this is what um, really doesn't sh confirm any strength. Um, and you can also argue that on the weekly chart, it did, it is testing this 200 week moving average and break of it is again, like to the down. So let's see what level is at that 200 moving, 200 week moving average. I think it's around $174 right over here. Um, $174, right. And let's go back to the $174. Let's see where it stands on our daily chart. 174, which is very close to 176, guys. That one of the yep, that one of the support level that we had. So yeah, all right. <laughs> Watch for 176 dollars level, guys. Um, if it breaks, it holds a lot of prominence in our weekly chart as well because it's gonna break almost this 200 days moving average. Sorry, 200 week moving average because we're on the weekly uh, interval. Yeah, all right. So, and again, guys, remember banks are crashing. And I mean, there's a lot of negative sentiment. Um, yeah, yeah, I would be careful, guys. If if you are trying to play long, uh, be careful. Kathy was is also selling, you know, just saying, just saying, <laughs> you know, red alert or warning, warning, right? Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it what I wanted to cover with you guys in this video. I hope you found some value in it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care.